Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's Make Mods Free Campaign, we go about looking at how we can create additional UPI IDs on Google Pay. Now you do understand that when you add a bank, you basically get a UPI ID. So a person can send money to you by either putting in your phone number, so your GPA phone number or maybe your GPA UPI ID. Now for the same bank account, you can have multiple upi ids and i will show you today how to do that so here inside gpa i tap on my profile icon i tap on bank account and when i tap on the bank account i can see the upi id that create gets created by default so this is created by default when i add the bank account now in case i have to create additional upi ids what i can do is i can simply tap on it and i can see that there are certain other UPI IDs which are also available so from Axis, from HDFC Bank, from SBI although mine is an ICIC account I can still have UPI IDs from all this supporting banks and I simply need to tap on this plus icon and it will go ahead and search for the bank, its availability, the server thing, everything and now you will see that I will have two UPI IDs associated with the same bank account and it's not just that I can have even one more. I can simply repeat the whole process. And if I now go back, you will see that I have two UPI IDs associated with the same bank account. So this is how simple it is. I mean, this is actually my primary bank account. So the primary bank account, when in case you have multiple bank accounts, if person sends money to me, it is in this account that it gets credited. If it sends money to my GPA number, so it will get credited to my ICICI account. Now I can very well change this and I can make this bank my primary bank account and again here as well I can go ahead and absolutely have another UPI ID for my other bank account as well. So this is how simple it is in case you are wondering on how you can have multiple UPI IDs for your same bank account. This is how simple it is. You can always at any point of time deactivate the UPI IDs as well. So it's very simple. And anytime you decide to unlink the bank account, all the UPI IDs associated with that bank account also get deactivated and delinked. So hopefully today's tutorial helps. In case it does, kindly consider subscribing. Also tap on the bell icon for getting notifications of our work. And please do share this on social network with your friends. Leave a comment in case you have any queries. Do put it in the comment section. We will be sure to reply. Until next time, it's me Amlan signing off. Ciao.